Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willowbound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I am a journaler, journal maker and teacher of journaling courses. And today is day 10 of the Inspiration Journal course where I'm showing you how I made this collage art journal so you can follow along at home. Today our collage prompt is floral. So this is definitely one of my favorite themes that I love to work with in my journals. And I've already prepared my page here. I've put down some floral washi tape. This is a William Morris design that I got from Washi Wednesday and prepared the page, putting that down the center of the um, page spread. And then I have got a whole bunch of different pieces um, that have to do with The Secret Garden. So the book or the movie, The Secret Garden, was a very sentimental or meaningful story from my childhood. Um, I saw the movie first and ever since I saw that movie I was inspired by this idea of the secret garden and the key to open the door and having this special space um, of beauty and your own secret space. Uh, I just love that idea and wanted my own secret garden. Um, so I have some floral pages here from a book that my sister-in-law actually got from, for me. So that was very special. It's called Wild Flowers of the World, I think it's called. Um, so it's a very large book and got these beautiful illustrations. So I just chose one of my favorite pages from that book with some blue flowers since blue is my favorite color. I think these are forget-me-nots, so I wanted to choose a flower that meant something to me and forget-me-nots are one of my favorite blue flowers and I like the connection to journaling as in we write down our memories so that we won't forget them. <laughs> um, and then I just ripped it in half so that I could split it over the two pages. Um, then I've got this beautiful tissue paper which I actually found in the bin. <laughs> um, my sister got, I think it was a scarf sent in the mail that she bought online and the packaging was this beautiful uh, tissue paper. And when I opened the lid of the bin, when I saw it, I salvaged it and yeah, asked my sister if I could use it. And she told me the story, yeah, where it came from and all that kind of thing. And so for me, that paper is really special because it reminds me of my sister and connects, with, connects me with her because she also does like to cook and has her own little herb garden and um, veggies and fruit and flowers and that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, I just really like the paper in general as well. It kind of looks vintage with a bit of color and the names of some different flowers on there. And then I've got a book page from The Secret Garden and I want to choose this page because it says at the top there the key of the garden and I just love that key. You know in the movie where um, Sarah Lennox she opens this drawer and that's where she finds the key this large metal ornate key. That key is just oh I love it it's beautiful it's big and oh beautiful design. <laughs> I love that key. Um, and maybe that's where I started, my love of keys started from. I'm not too sure, but yeah, I love skeleton key type things with the really pretty designs and the bigger, the better. Um, love seeing them hanging from dangles on the spines of journals and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I love the idea of the key of the garden. So then I've got some other pieces here. I've got these uh, tea bags with some stamping on them and I got these ages ago maybe even my first year of journaling junk journaling I got this sent in a happy mail and one of a flower and then these ones of a heart lock so I thought the flower is perfect that ties in with the floral theme and this key lock that ties in with the key of the garden and then you're opening this lock to enter into this secret beautiful wonderful garden so I knew I wanted to put those somewhere on the page and then I've got this little piece um, illustrated piece it is of a snap dragon and that is also significant one because it came from that illustrated dictionary from my grandpa 
and two because my mum uh, would take me to the nursery and I would choose flowers to buy from the nursery that we would plant in the garden together and before we went to the nursery I would often look through her flowering books and I loved the book of annuals that was my favorite one to look through and I would always choose flowers from that book so different flowers that I chose were sunflowers no not sunflowers marigolds um petunias impatiens um oh I'm gonna forget them now pansies um anyway one of the ones that I really liked some of my favorite ones were the snapdragon and there was another one larkspur snapdragon and larkspur I just really liked the design of that flower like the stem having all the flowers along the stem I thought that was beautiful so I was really excited to get snapdragon um and yeah so that represents that memory as well um I've got the contents page here from the book the secret garden as well um I thought that could be fun just to lay down as a background because the tissue paper is uh you know see-through so I just wanted something in the background um, that went with the theme of this page and yeah it took me a little bit of time just figuring out how to put everything on the page and how to arrange it all because as you can see I had quite a lot of stuff that I thought I wanted to include and it did end up being quite busy quite a full-on page but again just have fun with your journal it's not about having this you know beautiful perfect page it's just about getting the things that you want on the page onto the page so even though yes it might look a bit cluttered and a bit too busy and I could have done a more simple streamlined page that wasn't the goal for me my goal wasn't to have the most beautiful looking page my goal was to put all the things onto the page that went with this theme that resonated with me that connected with me in some way and I didn't care if it looked like a wonderful mess it's just I wanted the joy of looking at all these fun pieces <laughs> so if that helps you out there as well at home you know it's just about when you put those meaningful pieces onto the page that's all that matters it doesn't matter if it looks terrible um, just get it on the page and when you whenever you look at those pieces that will just give you those memories that you want to think about and the stories from your life the things that mean something to you that's what all these little pieces represent um, that idea again I'll keep saying it that each image and word that we put into our journals they share something about us and tell parts of our stories and that's so special our journals are creative biographies so yeah I'm just ripping up this page even further trying to figure out how to cover all the space on the page and uh, yeah have this kind of floral piece as a centerpiece with the book page as the background um, and yeah as I um, kind of keep working on the layout it takes me a bit of time to figure it out let me chat about the journaling prompt so if you would like to add journaling to your pages um, the prompt is blooming so uh, if you want to see my journaling video, um, you can check out my Patreon. The link is in the description box below. After watching this one, you can head on over to my Patreon for the Sapphire tier, which is the video tier. And you can see how I add a beautiful flower to my page. I pressed a flower and there's a significant memory with that flower too. Um, and then I just did a little bit of journaling on top of um, some lined paper. And what I wrote about was the, the idea of how um, it might feel like you're going through a stage of life or a season of life where it feels like a winter and it's dry and it's, you know, when Mary goes into the secret garden that first time, everything looks dead. Um, but she, with care and loving, kind, tender loving attention, what is it, tender loving care, <laughs> Uh, that and, and with nature and you know all that kind of thing the garden then flourishes and blooms and you would not believe that it could look like that when you first walked in there and sometimes we can feel like that ourselves we can feel just really dry on the inside or even on the outside and life can just feel yeah like a desert or a wilderness even um 
but this idea that yeah the blooming is coming the blooming is you might not be able to see it right now but just because it doesn't look like there's any life there um doesn't mean that it doesn't exist there is going to be <clears throat> excuse me i believe a spring coming um there always will be a spring and there will be uh, where there were thorns there will be flowers and where there was wild and wilderness there will be um, beauty and flowers petals just I, I don't know I'm picturing this beautiful flourishing blooming garden um, and yeah that just is a picture that is currently encouraging me at the moment um, and this idea as well of the roots in different seasons that we're in that uh, we could be in a season of letting our roots grow down deep and we don't see any results on in, in the in the outer life or outer world but we know that the roots are growing deep and then there's growth maybe a little shoot a little bud and again it's nothing any spe anything spectacular but there's growth and that means something too that's important and or even just the sowing of the seeds going right back sowing the seeds um and that's important too and then and then comes the spring and the summer and the fruit and the flowers and it's coming it's coming it's coming <laughs> and i hope that's encouraging um yeah so that's kind of what i wrote about there and i included this word magic as well like the magic of the secret garden the magic of um yeah just this wild wilderness this desert becoming this amazing beautiful garden like ah oh, so many wonderful analogies here <laughs> we well, that i can see anyway i hope you can see it too um and maybe you want to journal about what does blooming mean to you and what does that look like in your life and how to get there like this idea of blooming doesn't just happen there has to be those seeds sown and the roots growing down deep and the buds bursting forth and then the growth and then, only then, then comes the fruit and then come, comes the, fla the flowers. And it's all part of the process. So just enjoy whatever season you are in and know that eventually there will be fruit and flowers. But, you know, um, it's all part of the process. All part of the process, the sowing, the planting, the growing, the budding, all of it. All of it. And um, to just recognize what season you're in and to embrace it and be okay with it um and be patient um yeah that kind of idea and that theme um yeah i, I love that i i really love it and that we can take inspiration and encouragement from god's creation from nature from gardens <laughs> um and i always have this connection to like the garden of eden because like that's where it all started and this idea of this ideal place of the garden and how um yeah that for me is a, a big symbol in my life the garden flowers and a tree like a flourishing tree that's also another, another symbol of of life um yeah so i think i've got my layout pretty much done this little piece here oh i took it off but I, <laughs> i'll be sticking it on the page this square lined piece of paper with that vintage look to it that is one of the freebies available through this course so that is available on my patreon as well or on buy me a coffee where you can claim all the freebies all the freebies from this course and just all the freebies that i put up there for willow bound journals um so you are most welcome to download any of those any and all of those and use those to enhance your own journaling i have also created a document because i found it a bit too much work to have to um, upload all these freebies day by day um, so what I did is just to make it easier for me and for you out there is I created one PDF document with all of the freebies <laughs> what did I think of this before so I will have that um, ready for you to download as well either on my patreon or buy me a coffee which one whichever one is easiest for you to access um, and it's just a page of 10 pages um, that I've already formatted with 15 or so, I think this might be 16 different pieces, ephemera, ledger paper, photos that I've taken, 
um, the quote about the creative biography, that quote, um, all different things, things that I've used in my own collage journal um, as well, and things that I've used to um, not just use for collage, but things that I've used to um, add to it, my pages, my prepared pages with journaling. So if you would like to just do download that document instead of download individual freebies each day, that is there for you. Um, and if you would like the full 30 page collage kit with over 150 collage elements, um, many of which yeah, I used in my personal collage journal here, and many more bonuses as well, um, then that is available on my Etsy or it is over on Buy Me A Coffee and Patreon um, where you can um, access those depending on how you do that there. <laughs> Wherever you go, there's different ways to access those. But um, for the Patreon, that 30-page document is available to the Ruby tier and higher. The Ruby tier is the Etsy tier um, where you get access to every single one of my digital kits and every month I release a new kit so that you have um, access to more and more kits as the months go by. <laughs> so yeah, I hope that is all um, the information you need to do your own page spread with the uh, prompt of floral. Maybe you've got some floral books that you want to get some book pages from. Maybe you want to press your own flowers. Maybe you have some flower stickers. I was going to use some stickers, but it already got too cluttered this page, so I didn't. I held off on the stickers. Maybe you want to use some floral stamps. Um, yeah, so many options, and I hope you have fun with it and look forward to seeing your pages. If you'd like to share them in um or over on instagram just tag me or in the willow bound journals facebook group page you can share your collage pages in there some of you have been doing that and it's been wonderful to see your pages so thank you so much for sharing hope you guys are all doing well happy journaling and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys a big special thank you to all my beautiful patrons who supported in may thank you for allowing me to do this for another month i hope you absolutely love being a patron and all the extra rewards you get over on my patreon you get access to extra videos and printables and personal updates first access to my journals and much more so if you'd like to become a patron in june feel free to check out the link in the description box to my patreon